Hello, it's Overkill Reviews in the Underground. I'm Blaine Smith, and I've taken just enough time off playing Monster Hunter World, twitch.tv slash metal comedy, to come and give you guys a review. Ah, just the usual, subscribe, like, comment. We got a Patreon campaign, you can support us. Cool, whatever, review time. All right, we have some experimental sludge doom, hard to classify, just listen to it. Yes, the Summer of Thou draws to a close with Magus out August 31st on Sacred Bones Records. So, Thou are maybe the hardest working band that you haven't heard of. Formed in 2005 in Baton Rouge, on the surface, they only have five albums. And you might say, well, that's not that crazy. But when you factor in all the splits and EPs, that the fact that they're also all of generally of a very high quality make these some pretty busy boys. And this summer is... No exception. I mean, we've had three EPs this year already, which has really been kind of building to this album, which is part of the reason you might have heard a lot of buzz going around right now. But three EPs in an album in a year? That's a crunch. Can you really put out that much music and have it all be quality? Well, that's why we got a review to find out. So before we dive in, let's just say this is a very challenging record. It's 75 minutes long, and tracks can range from a one-minute interlude to an 11 minute long odyssey and even playing a clip of one of the songs is going to give you a totally different idea of what this record sounds like compared to another clip pretty much if this was a book it would be some shit like postmodern or the cultural logic of late capitalism nonetheless what is paradoxically about this displacement of literary terminology by an emergent mediatic concept of it's dense ah this is a Hard album to talk about how to do this. All right, let's just, uh, okay, so there's three main tent poles that sort of support this Cirque du Soleil level weird circus we've got on. And those are 10 minute long crawls of tracks. But despite the fact that you have three 10 minute long songs on the album, they all kind of bring a little something different th th than the previous one. So you open the album with Inward, and that's a great song, maybe my favorite song on the album, second favorite. Them, whatever. Uh, the next one that comes up through the middle of the album has some clean singing that breaks it up from that previous one. And then the album Closer has some of that weird album closery noise layered over top of it that people use to close albums. And it sounds closey. As a result, each one of them is kind of a uh, microcosm of the album in the sense that it's a consistent but also brings variety. This is a very hard album to talk about. Every five seconds, I just want to say, screw it, and throw to a clip. But I only get one clip, so I'm saving it. So all the little shows happening under the big top do have that variety, but also consistency. I'm just going to talk about something. So you've got Elimination Rhetoric. Uh, this has, in the middle of the song, has a transition from the kind of thick, sludgy nature to this uh, psychedelic part. And it was just super awesome. It's super gradual. It builds very slowly, so you can go from a heavy track to psychedelic without it feeling weird in any way. I actually found myself, every time I listened to the album, I would rewind it back and listen to that section a bit because it's super cool. <laughs> Furthering that variety, uh, on uh, Greater Invocation of Disgust, there's this, that just, I'm gonna use the clip now. I'm gonna call in my clip, clip! So as you can hear, it's got like an aggression level and a catchiness that you might not expect on a record like this that makes it kind of the opposite to my other favorite track, Inward. And uh, really, there's also this the album structured so well that by the time you get to it, you've, you're kind of wanting that shake up and it's just, 
it's just super cool. It's super cool. And it also, that clip highlights amazingly the uh, production job on this. There's five guys in this band, and in every clip, you can just hear each five guys. You can pick them out, no problem. And that's as much a credit to the dudes all doing something interesting at all times as it is to uh, James Whitten for just banging this album out. The first one, My Brother Caliban, is easily my favorite of the little interludes. Uh, it's basically a black metal song buried deeper than Quebec City in January, eh? <laughs> Cheesy Canadian joke. The Law Which Compels, which is the last one, uh, that one is the only one that kind of really doesn't do it for me. It feels a little long at three minutes, and there's cool stuff that happens to it, but it's like three minutes, and I feel like it would have benefited from sticking to the one and a half minutes, one minute kind of range of the other ones, because there's cool stuff, but it takes too long to get to, and on repeated listens, I found myself skipping it, because it's the second last song, and I just kind of wanted to get to the last song. The name of the track does kind of sound like a bolt thrower album, so that's cool, though. I don't really have a lot to complain about this album besides that. Uh, I will say that it is super challenging to listen to. It's a heavy, dense record to get through, like Dark Souls No Hit Run level challenge. If you compare it to another album that you might just pop to your head due to the 75 minute runtime, say Bellwitch, it's a lot harder than that. Not like bad, just, you know, a challenging listen. And I think part of this is based on the fact that uh, compared to say that was re last record, Heathen, there aren't the fast parts it never gets quite as fast as that record to kind of give you some energy to sustain you through that long runtime. But at the same time, it also feels like it's a harsher record that's supposed to take more of an emotional toll on you. So if you like Slow Thou, then really, I don't know if there's anything for you to complain about this record, so cool. So I've only really talked about this album in a general broad way. I haven't gone, oh, I like the drums on this or I like the guitars on this because there's just a ton to talk about. And if I start, I have to get through the general stuff. And then if I start getting into the specific stuff, this is gonna be a longer review than the album. And then you can just go listen to the album. Basically, it's a Thou album. And that means your mileage with it will vary wildly. If you're sitting here being like, all right, once this video is done, I'm gonna call this guy a cuck soy boy hipster. You will not enjoy this record. Do not do it. Stay away. But. If you're like me and you're, I don't know, I guess a cuck soy boy hipster, it's an awesome record. It's super great, it's really cool, and it really, there's no other band like Thou. There's Thou is Thou, and it's sort of like playing Eve Online. It's indecipherable to those on the outside, but if you're in there, man, there's a lot of content to dig into. So that's why I'm giving this four out of five skulls that are like super postmodern, man crazy stuff. All right. It wouldn't be a banger review without shout outs. So let's get into some personal pick for me. If you didn't have enough weird, spooky nonsense this week with thou, you can check out uh, Faust Coven in the shadow of doom. It's strange and weird and I love it too. Also out this week, we've got Ken mode with loved on season of mist slash new damage. I don't know. Good Canadian boys, make good music. They support comedy too, so. Much respect, Ken Mode, check it out. Uh, we've got The Secret, Lux Tenebra's EP, and a little something different. We've got The Vintage Caravan on Nuclear Blast. It's groovy 70s stuff from Iceland. We love them, and uh, you might like them too. Plus, hey, Iceland's cool, right? But more on that later. And as always, you know, subscribe, like, comment. We love that stuff. And if you enjoy us putting out underground, strange, weirder metal bands you might have missed. Hey, that all happens because of our Patreon campaign and the supporters. So head on over there, toss us some support if you like it. Otherwise, keep on keeping on.